Ukrainian soldier downs Russian cruise missile with machine gun. A serviceman of the Air Force shot down a Russian cruise missile with a machine gun. According to Militani media outlet, the press service of the Air Force Command reported on this. Shooting down an enemy missile with a machine gun is an extremely difficult task, but responsibility and the understanding that the lives of many people depend on you makes the impossible possible, says Sir He, who uses the call sign Dr. Mom. In civilian life, Sir He used to work as a medic and now he is on combat duty in a mobile AA fire team. The soldier recalls how, on the morning of June the 12th, his unit intercepted an enemy missile heading for the Kiev region. Upon receiving the command, ready, my comrades and I immediately went to our positions. We were informed over the radio that our target was close. A few seconds later, we saw an enemy missile flying toward Vasilkiv. Without hesitation, I took my machine gun and opened fire. I was thinking only one thing. I have to hit it. When I fired a round, I saw the missile begin to deviate from its course and descend, the soldier recalls. So he admits that at that moment he was overwhelmed with emotion. He believed that he had really shot down an enemy missile with his machine gun only when he saw the wreckage with his own eyes. Now, when recounting the details of that morning, so he is a bit embarrassed, saying he did nothing special. But we know that it is people like Sahi who protect Ukrainians from enemy missiles and drones, bringing our victory closer. The Air Force Command says the type of weapon that destroyed the cruise missile was not reported, but the standard armament and characteristic holes indicate that the Kalashnikov's handheld machine gun could have been used. Militani has already reported a confirmed case of shooting down an enemy cruise missile with a machine gun. On March the 21st, it was reported that during the night missile attack, the ground force mobile anti-aircraft fire team destroyed an enemy cruise missile with Browning M2 machine gun fire. A powerful storm hit Russian capital Moscow on Thursday afternoon, killing at least two people and injuring over a dozen others, authorities reported. Russia's emergency services ministry said a man was killed near Park Dubki in northern Moscow when wind gusts of around 18 to 23 meters per second uprooted a tree that then crushed him. As a result of unfavorable weather conditions, 18 people were hospitalized in city hospitals, three of them are in serious condition. Among those hospitalized are four children, their condition is assessed as satisfactory, the press service of Moscow Health Department told local media. The Ministry of Emergency Situations warned of possible tornadoes from 12 to 1700 hours local time on Thursday. It said strong winds and rain was expected to continue until 2200 hours on Thursday. The storm has caused cancellation of around 50 flights across the capital city. The plane flying from Magadan to Moscow failed to land at the capital's Sheremetyevo airport and landed in Nizhny Novgorod. According to meteorologists, the deadly storm was brought in by a strong cold front. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin warned on Wednesday that a powerful storm system was expected to bring heavy rain and high winds, as well as rare tornadoes to Moscow the following day. Огонь. 